Hello, this is Dan on my Infinite Oasis channel and uh, just wanted to show you guys a photo of Mars here that has a very interesting feature on it. Um, I don't normally get into the artifacts and everything on Mars. I'm interested about it, but uh, I've been listening to a podcast called Earth Ancients and every once in a while uh, the guy Cliff on there, the host, will talk about these these artifacts being found on Mars and um, so much has, has come up about this and there's YouTube videos and things like that that have come up that you know I, I said to myself you know I gotta see what is really going on here is are, is there really all these artifacts on Mars or is it just a bunch of rocks you know is, is there really some something there and I kind of got surprised uh, I, there was there's really more to be seen than I thought there would be for example if we look at this this image here, and this is an actual image from the Curiosity rover, uh, I will put the the link to this actual image from the NASA uh, website. So if you want to download it yourself and scrutinize it yourself, you can. This is a very very nice uh, image, very high resolution, and it looks fantastic if you look at it. I mean, it's got all these nice rocks laying around and. You know, it's so cool when you look at these images, you're actually looking at an alien planet. And it's really, really cool. But when you look at all these, uh, these, you know, zoom in and look at some of these these rocks here, you find things like uh, this rock right here, which is very interesting. It's got features where, you know, you see the kind of horizontal um, features here along with the vertical. And it looks like almost like some kind of, you know, box or crate or something. Very interesting, and if you kind of look over here at this one, using your imagination, you can kind of see that this could have been in like a face, like a statue that is broken off and laying on the ground. But, you know, really giving tricks of light and the bumps on the rock and all that, and how the mind tends to try to make sense of things, you know, I can let that go. You know, that's just something that I'm seeing. And especially if you turn this, you know, if, if you looked at this as these two eyes here and a nose and a mouth, and you turned it right side up, you'll see that it doesn't really look like a face at all. It's just your brain, you know, trying to make sense of it. Uh, the reason that this image is kind of angled like this is because the image actually comes in from NASA upside down. <laughs> so you have to go in there and just, just rotate it. But the purpose of this video is something that I found that I thought, okay, this is really, really, really strange. And that is, see this nice big rock clump here in the middle? If we move in, this is a very strange rock to begin with. I mean, if you look at it, it's got like pieces that are hooked to it. Like, you know, look look at this, this piece like right here. It's like almost fit into it. It looks like got some, you know, cracks going on and stuff. But the interesting thing that is here, if you look in, you know, look into it, Look at this area right here. And when I looked at this, I see some alphanumeric characters popping out at me. Now, I may be crazy. I want to know what you guys think, but um, I'll, show you, I sh I'll show you what I'm seeing here. I am seeing, if I'm just going to paint over this, this is almost like an R. This is kind of like an O. This is like a 9. There may be something right here. If there is, maybe it's an I or something. This kind of looks almost like an E to me, but maybe an F, but not quite. I don't know. And this, I was thinking, was an S, but really, if you look at it more closely, it, it looks like an 8. So it doesn't make any sense, you know, when you do it like that. But that is what I'm seeing, okay? And I'm just going to back up again so this is all clear. And... Do you see this, this progression of alphanumeric text right here? Now, this could be just shadows and bumps on the rock, but what really are the chances that um, you would have this straight line progression of characters on a rock? So this is very strange to me, uh, extremely strange to me. Now, the fact that it looks like alphanumeric text means that it is definitely not on Mars, okay? 
You know, if there was an alien race on Mars or whatever, millions of years ago or whatever, there wouldn't be alphanumeric text. There would be nothing that resembles, you know, what we have come up with on Earth. Even if whoever supposedly lived on Mars millions of years ago and their planet died out or they had a nuclear war or all those other theories that people say they migrated to Earth, you know, they still, the text that they use would, you know, whatever language system would be so ancient that it would not match what we have today. I mean, this, the alphanumeric uh, text is not something that we started out with. There was a lot older text than that. It's a fairly new, new text. So, I mean, what is this? The only thing that I can think of is, is if this is actually text, even though this is supposed to be a raw image, you know, somebody from NASA would maybe playing around or, you know, maybe they they did some sharpening of the image or something and whatever technician does that thought he would have a little fun and put, you know, some initials on the rock or something, you know, and only doing it in shadows just so much that uh, it's barely readable. Now, what also makes me think of that is if you look at like this, what I call an R uh, in the nine, especially it's, it's like a complete character where you can see the rock is indented here. So you wouldn't see that, you know, the end of the nine continuing on if it was actually part of the image. So I think it's like an addition that, you know, somebody did, <laughs> or maybe it is completely tricks of light, but I just find it very, uh, improbable that you would see a line of what looks like text in a straight line. I mean, the odds of seeing something like that in a straight line, you know, you know, you may look all over on these rocks and you may see something that looks like an A or an eight or whatever, but all this in a straight line, the odds of seeing something like that, I think, you know, I don't know how to calculate them, but I think they're astronomical. So this is this particular image. Let me show you another image that I have here. This is actually the same image, but I ran it through Photoshop and I did a, uh, I think it was called an HDR filter. I don't know exactly what it does, but basically you can tell it's made it black and white and it also sharpened up all the line, line work. So when you look at it here, I mean, it comes through fairly clear uh, that it's a straight line of some kind of jumbled up, you know, what I see is, is some kind of alphanumeric text. Like I said, maybe tricks of light, shadow, all that, that's fine, but I just want to know what you guys think. This is very, very odd. And now if we go back, look at this rock as well, you can kind of see how it's got that grid-like pattern. And of course, the nice space statue, statue there. There is one more um, image that I want to show you. And let me bring that up. That is this one, I believe. And this one is, is one that uh, I went to the Earth Ancients uh, Facebook page and looked at some of the things because they kept talking about, you know, these images they kept finding, artifacts and everything. And um, so basically I was drawn to this image from their Facebook page. But what you have in this image is these two items here. And um, they're calling them like caskets for lack of a better word. I mean, it's probably a lot smaller than a cask. So I'm, I'm guessing, you know, I have no way of knowing what the scale of this is, but I'm going to guess just by looking at the surrounding uh, rocks and everything that this is probably not much more than, you know, foot long right here. But look at these rocks, okay? Or if these are rocks, I'll get my little pin here again. Straight edge, beveled up here, straight bevel. I can't draw a straight bevel, but a straight bevel. And it goes across like that. Goes over like so. There is a kind of a rounded off bevel here. And this is fairly straight going through here, look, looking much like an angle. And kind of hard to tell what's you know going on further back there. And then you have this next piece that is straight right there and kind of bevels, goes right here. Also has this kind of straight edge along there. And then the top 
<clears throat> top of this, whatever, you know, whatever it might be. I mean, it actually looks like it has some kind of design to it, but take all these lines away. And I mean, very, very unnatural looking rocks, I'm, I have to say. I mean, it really makes me want to be on Mars and go over here and pick this up and, you know, really examine it and try to figure out what really this is. I mean, there's another one down here with like a straight edge. Um, and if you look at the, what looks like most of the normal rocks, I mean, they look like pretty much like rocks. They're, you know, kind of rounded off and various um, angles and things like that. But you get to the, these things and you see this and you're like, okay, that's very odd. So just really strange. So bring this one up again and just wanted to show this to you guys and, you know, get some opinions out there on if you are seeing what I'm seeing. Like I said, I'm going to put a link to the actual, um, actual image, the raw image from the NASA website and you can download it yourself and take a good look at it and let me know what you think as far as these characters very very interesting at least i i think they are so thanks for watching happy mars hunting and i'll talk to you later